What is up, everybody? Welcome to Funko News for September 6, 2017. Before I get started, real quick, I want to give a shout out to everybody that's been watching the other content on my channel. I know Funko News is very popular, but it really does mean a lot to me when people take the time to check out my other videos, like the Marvel related video I just did, and then um, I had a video where I just shared some thoughts about YouTube and gave some shout outs. So, those of you checking out the other content, I really do appreciate you a lot. I mean, of course, I appreciate everybody checking out Funko News as well, but um, you know, the other content I think tends to be more personal, so that's why I really do like it, you know, when people take the time to check check that out I also want to say um, I'm gonna do my best to try to get a Funko news up at the end of the week and I will try to prepare some other content for my channel but I do live in South Carolina which means I am in the path of Hurricane Irma um, last year Hurricane Matthew really uh, did a, a lot of damage to my area um, I was without power for a week so um, I don't know what's going to happen this time. I am trying to prepare. I know a lot of people are, you know, filling up their gas tanks and buying bottled water and all those things in my area. I got to prepare myself as well. But like I said, I will do my best to try to get some content up. But if you don't see some content for a couple of days, just know that I am, you know, dealing with the hurricane or the aftermath of it, whatever it may be. But hopefully it won't have as much impact as Hurricane Matthew did last year. And um, I'm definitely going to be thinking about all those of you that are also in the path of the hurricane. Um, you know, hopefully everything will be all right. But let me go ahead and move into here for um, Funko News of September 6, 2017. So for starters here, uh, Hot Topic actually has a lot going on right now, including on their website. So you can go to their website and actually get a lot of their exclusives right now, including the diamond exclusive Ursula that just released. Now this particular box doesn't have that diamond sticker on it. Um, well, actually it does, but it's kind of hard to see it. But I mean, you know, the diamond sticker is on it, um, the boxes. I'm gonna say this as well. Um, when you pick up any diamond series figure, take a good look at them because I was in Hot Topic a couple of days ago and I picked up a bell figure just to kind of see what the paint job looked like and there was some glitter that had kind of strayed around so um yeah just take a good look at them if you're buying in store and you know if you're buying online you mean you pretty much take a chance there you see some other Hot Topic exclusives that are available um Hopper and the Biohazard suit from Stranger Things um Remus from um Harry Potter and then there's also this uh Sora plushie which is based off of basically the Halloween version of him or the vampire version of him from Kingdom Hearts. I don't know a lot about that character. Honestly, I've never played that series, but that plushie is available. No idea if they're going to actually do the human characters from that game series as pops or not. I guess we'll find out, you know, eventually. And then the vinyl two pack He-Man and Trap Jaw is showing up in some areas. I know at least uh, one person in my own area has um, their hands on it. So I'm assuming that it will be popping up in stores. I'm still really waiting for the Freddy and Jason uh, vinyl two pack. That's the one I'm really um, anxious to get my hands on. Moving on here with the Funko Shop, uh, they're back on schedule. They did have um, some new exclusives today, and you have to actually do buy these two figures together. So Breezley and Sneezley, these are flocked versions of them, and they are limited in number, two thousand pieces. Okay, and they're together $30 plus shipping and handling now there will be commons as well that you can find you know in various stores but if you want the flock versions again they are on the Funko shop right now and it seems like next week Bugs, Bugsy Wingnut which is one from their monster series could possibly be the exclusive figure next week but that is subject to change so for those of you that are outside of North America I just like to keep reminding you that you can get exclusives that we have here in the states you know if you go to websites like popculture.com that's at least one site that I know of that does tend to have exclusives and um, Forbidden Planet International they have exclusives as well one thing that separates pop culture though is that they also get the Funko subscription boxes so you don't actually you're not actually getting a subscription but box by box you can buy them and they do now have Disney treasures as well they don't have the latest one available on um, the Haunted Mansion one yet 
Um, I would imagine they might get it if Funko actually set some aside for them because that Haunted Mansion box actually did sell out. So anybody that wanted that box, I sure hope you got your hands on it. But yeah, again, if you're outside of North America and you want to get your hands on some exclusives, make sure you check out popculture.com. Also remember to make sure that you change the currency to whichever country you're in so you get accurate pricing as well because it is an Australian based website. So keeping it moving here with a figure that should be on the way soon here on the left hand side, Sertor, hope I'm saying that name correctly, from Dora Ragnarok. We get a better look at that figure here. Um, I think it would be so much cooler if the like skeletal structure was actually a real structure inside of the figure, but then again, that would really bump up the price. So I understand them painting the um, the skeleton onto the figure. You know, I mean, it's, it's basically because of the price point of Funko, but it's still a cool looking figure. That is a GameStop exclusive. And again, it should be on the way very soon. If I learn more, of course, I will share. If it becomes available online, you know, I'll try to share a link with you all. And then Crota, this is a figure I really want to get my hands on. And I know a lot of Destiny fans do as well. Um, remember that these are Target exclusives and there is a Chase variant as well, a glow in the dark Chase variant here so um this is rumored to be releasing just uh two days from the time of this recording okay, okay so that'll be friday the 8th and you see the information there the numbers on this figure as well um because i'll be prepping for the storm i don't really know if i'll be able to get out and look but i've already talked to some friends that could hopefully help me out with this because i really would like to get my hands on either version of that figure now Funko, uh, I guess they're really feeling the color red right now. So on the left hand side here you see that there appears to be a red suit version of Mira which is still a Hot Topic exclusive. The other Mira is Hot Topic exclusive as well. This was uh, found in a store somewhere. I mean I don't know any more details than that about it. And if I learn any more about that particular figure of course I will share with you all. Um, and then you see here a red stormtrooper, which is a target exclusive. Again, not exactly sure when this will release. I will try to update you all on it. Um, I definitely want to hear from Star Wars fans what you think about this red stormtrooper. Um, you know, if it's just this red one, I think that's cool. Hopefully, we don't start to see a rainbow of star, you know, like stormtroopers. I think that would be ridiculous. But I, and also, somebody could let me know. Is there any relevance to a red stormtrooper? Like, is this something that has actually appeared somewhere, or is this something that Funko just decided to do? Because I honestly don't know. So, some sci fi dorbs are on the way, and I think they look pretty cool overall. The Xenomorph, I wish, um, I wish I could see a side angle of it to see, you know, how the head sculpt looks, because if it's perfectly round almost, then that might not look so hot, but who knows? Hopefully they actually did a good job with the head scope for the um, the Xenomorph. And you see that there is a chase variant, which is blood, spl blood spattered, basically. Okay, then they also have a face hugger figure there, which is a Toys R Us exclusive. The Predator ones, those are a must for me. Okay, you see that they have the Predator, of course, unmasked. And then they have Predator, uh, the clear version with the blood splattering. That is a Toys R Us exclusive. Really hoping that they do a, um, you know, a mass version of this Predator Dwarves as well. Of course, if that's revealed, then I will share. These are up for a November release. And there are some more sci-fi Dwarves here, including some Tron figures. And the Tron set does have a chase figure as well, which definitely appears to be glow in the dark. You see that they have the Rocketeer here, which I think is pretty cool. I actually really enjoyed that movie. I think it was a little too old school for some people, but I, I really enjoyed it. And they have a Chase Rocketeer as well, which to me looks pretty slick. Um, you know, it's a black and white variant. I really do like that. And then they have Spock, and they also have a Chase version of Spock, which to me I think is that... I want to say mirror universe or whatever it may be i'm sorry i'm not really into that lore but i know there was a pop figure that looked very similar so um all these figures as well of course are up for a november release now the next specialty series figures remember with specialty series they always reveal a pop and adorbs at the same time so we have tigra and orca orco here excuse me um of course these are from thundercats <laughs> you know i Thundercast, whenever I see it, it's just an instant nostalgia. I really do hope, though, that they will do an updated version of, you know, some of the pops that they've already done before, especially Lion-O. And I know that might worry some people. They might worry about the value of the original going down. I don't really think that's a big concern. I think there's a lot of people that still really 
you know like the original but i just i would personally like to see an updated version and i'd like to see you know them do even more with thundercats because like i said it's just so much nostalgia from it and um i think it's very fitting also for oracle to be as a dorbs okay so these are up for a december release remember with specialty series figures you can check at certain websites like toy wars and um uh, ferrera market but also make sure that you check with your local comic book shops as well so Elf, uh, this movie, I know I've seen this movie before. I can't really remember too many details of it. I think it was pretty funny, but I, I just can't remember too many details. But you see that these are up for a fall release, and they have more characters than before. Originally, I think they just had a buddy Elf figure, and it honestly wasn't the most impressive design, the most impressive sculpt. So these look much more detailed. And I'm not going to name off all the characters. You see them here, though. But I will point out, you see that there is a Narwhal figure, which is a Toys R Us exclusive. There's also a Buddy Elf Chase figure, where he's holding the um, Jack in the Box, basically. And then um, they also have a Box Lunch exclusive, where he's holding on to the, um, the snowballs there. And I actually do remember um, that moment from the movie. That was pretty funny. So, yeah, these are figures. Again, these are up for fall release. If I learn anything more specific than that, then I will share. Now, Krampus, I, I didn't see this movie, and of course, these uh, figures are based off the uh, Hollywood movie. I know there's been some low-budget Krampus movies, but this is based off of the Hollywood movie that came out, um, I want to say, maybe two or three years ago. I think it was 2015. Um, this might be one of the few times where, even though I haven't seen the movie, and I might rent the movie and check it out, or see if it comes to Netflix or Hulu, but... This might be one of those few times where I pick a figure up purely for the design. I like all of these. And, um, you know, sometimes I'm not crazy about Funko taking a same mold and just doing slight variants on it and putting them all out at the same time. Sometimes that's a little bit annoying. But again, like I said, this is one of those rare occasions where I really do like all of these. These are up for a November release. And you see that they have... There are actually two Chase variants of Krampus, okay? So there's one that you can find in multiple stores. You can see the red one up there, up top. And then also Hot Topic is going to have two exclusives. So they will have a flocked Krampus, and then they're going to have a flocked Chase Krampus, which is that white one there at the bottom. So it's similar to what they did with Porg from Star Wars The Last Jedi. And then to the right there, you see that they have a snow-covered Krampus, and he is kind of blue there. That is a FYE exclusive. So again... I'm going to be on the lookout for these purely from as a design point. I really do like these. So some figures that were just revealed on Hot Topics Periscope. And I say this all the time. If you have that app, if you have the Periscope app, you might as well follow Hot Topics so you can see get a good look at their exclusives. I know these aren't the best images. When I get a chance, I will share better images. But you see here on the left, they have Dapper Sally. This is one that was rumored. Um, previously and there's already been a dapper jack skellington which doesn't seem like they made a whole lot of those i know i didn't see very many of them and it seems like that was kind of difficult to get okay but dapper sally is actually up for an october release so that's next month and then the next diamond series figure this is of course following ursula is dumbo set for a december release um actually it seems like they're a little all scheduled with their releases for diamond series so i don't know if there's going to be any others that are revealed before dumbo comes along but you know like i said i'll try to clear that up and keep you all updated and again definitely going to share better images of these once i am able to so with the new york comic con i'm not going to run through these figures right here because i already covered these in a previous funko news video if you missed out on that one you can go back and check it out i think it was a week ago or you can just kind of pause and take a look at these here but i want to go ahead and get to what was just revealed by funko so we knew it's no surprise that they were going to do some things with star wars here and one rumor did prove to be true the saw guerrera with hair figure which um somebody could let me know but looking at the body i don't know if anything at all changed with the body it seems like it's just a different head sculpt there if i'm wrong about that you know somebody let me know but you also see they have k2so best character in the movie <laughs> i don't care what anybody else says they're definitely best character in the movie um there he is he is actually armed which kind of reminds me of a scene towards the end i won't say any more than that in case you haven't seen it um the character there at the bottom dengar i'm not actually sure how to say that name 
and I'm actually struggling to even remember that character. Um, I don't know why I'm completely drawing a blank right now. Uh, we also see there they have a white Death Star droid. This is one that actually was on the back of a box, so that one has been known for a good while. It was on the back of a couple of the boxes, I think. And then Jen Erso basically in disguise as well. So with these figures, um, I would say October 5th release, and I'm not forgetting about the one to the right, I'll get to it in just a second, but um, these figures should be October 5th release because that is the first day of New York Comic Con, and um, well actually I'll say some more about the Comic Con in just a moment, and you also see I shared this image before of the Boba Fett with Slave 1, this is a Pop Deluxe, and uh, it was actually revealed I think um, at the Funko headquarters they had it on display and an image was shared online but now we know that this is a New York Comic Con exclusive right now no idea what stores these will go to like I said I'm gonna address that in just a second here but let me go ahead and move on they also revealed some TV exclusives kinda odd choices in my opinion I definitely want to hear what you all think about these you see they have Dolores from Westworld I have not seen Westworld not really not familiar with that series whenever I get around to uh well I should say whenever HBO is available through Hulu on PS4 then I'll get around to checking out Westworld in addition to Game of Thrones but um also here we have from Troll Hunters which is a Netflix series we have the character Arg and that is his real name we have that stone version of him also from troll hunters we have Jim with armor which I think is the same mold that they've used before but he has like this reddish armor going on odd choice here to me like I said some odd choices land of the lost they have a sleeve stack and in I think is how you say that character's name that that one kind of out of left field you know definitely surprising and from the, the walking dead this is one that had been rumored for a while so no surprise here Dwight Although I gotta say, this design of Dwight, I'm really not that crazy about it. When I look at the way they ended up doing Dwight, I think they overdid it with the coloring. And honestly, immediately, it reminded me of Mintberry Crunch. So I'm like, okay, Mintberry Crunch has a twin now. I, I do like the scarring that they did as far as the molding is concerned, you know, where he was burned on his face and everything. But yeah, I just think they overdid it with the coloring. But who knows, maybe the actual figure will look more subtle. I mean, this is, you know, a promo shot, so maybe it will look more subtle up close. And then the rest of the TV figures that they revealed here, they have a Buffy and Faith 2-pack. Um, you know, I think they did step up the design there from the previous Buffy's. I definitely like that she has the stake in the hand. They have the first Doctor from Doctor Who, and I know there's a lot of Doctor Who fans out there. Um, he's looking pretty spiffy up there. They have 11. Um, they I think they did an 11 before in the um, hospital gown, but this is 11 with the electrodes on her head as well. And then they also have the Stranger Things um, action figures there. They have 11 with the wig. They also have upside down wheel and then they have the Demogorgon with the closed up face or closed up mouth there. I gotta be honest, I got a good look at the Stranger Things action figures that are already released, the other two packs, and they look kind of rough up close in my opinion. I mean, I don't know what you all think about them if you've seen them or not, but to me they look kind of rough up close. Um, maybe this one will be better designed, who knows. Okay, but again... I'm not 100% sure where these will be shared. I mean, there's rumors floating around, and, um, you know, as I learn more, I will try to share with you all, but October 4th, the day before they actually start releasing, then we should find out, Funko should give us at least um, about a half a day's, you know, notice on where these figures will be, and I'm going to say, like I said, with uh, SDCC, don't stress people, because knowing weeks ahead is really not that different from knowing hours ahead because regardless you gotta wait until it actually becomes available in the store or online so don't stress you know as information becomes available I will try to share as much as possible so let's get to the rumor mill here just a couple of things to cover but some things that I think are pretty interesting so for starters here Kylo Ren had not shown up yet he definitely didn't show up on for us Friday but it seems like uh, he should be available within the next week is to at Toys R Us that's not 100% confirmed you know and if I can update I will but 
actually if this if it takes about a week or so for this to come up and i am affected by the storm i may not be able to share that so i'm just going to say be on the lookout for it okay so it could be within the next week and also if you um if you did not see princess leia the walmart exclusive she is starting to show up in more areas she didn't arrive at all walmarts on forest friday so be on the lookout for them. like any basically any of these uh star wars exclusives that you missed on force friday just be on the lookout because some stores are getting them kind of late from that day and also with the kylo ren no word yet on whether or not he will be available online again if i can learn anything about that and share it with you all you know i will so orange bird i've shared this figure uh once or twice before the walt disney springs resort exclusive um, if you have the Disney Parks app, you might want to keep an eye on it because this figure did uh, appear on there. Um, people couldn't actually purchase them, but he did appear with a price, and I think the price was like $19.99. But um, yeah, if you're interested and you have the Disney Parks app, keep an eye on it. If you're a really big fan you might and you don't have the app, you might want to get the app and watch it. But again, this is not 100% confirmed that it will be available through the app. It's just a possibility. So Pennywise, they are really going all in on Pennywise. We already had four versions, even though we know that the chase is um, whatever is available. The chase pretty much now is is going to be it. But I, I and no pun intended there. But um, yeah, uh, and people that are still stressing over the chase, I really wouldn't. There are still more becoming available. And um, don't assume that it's going to stay at a super high value like some people are trying to sell it for, I think that pr that price is going to come down, especially when some more roll out. So uh, yeah, just don't freak out over that. But this poster that you see here on the left, this was spotted in a FYE storefront. So it seems like they may get an exclusive. And I hope this is legit because that is a really crazy design. That is one I would absolutely have to get my hands on. And there is a chance that GameStop may get a Pennywise exclusive as well. They did have something appear in their system that makes it seem that way. And uh, I want to hear from anybody else that's going to see this movie right away. I know I am. Um, the storm, if it does hit here, which I mean, like I said, it seems like it's going to affect us at least some. But I think we have at least till Sunday or Monday. So yeah, um, I want to go see this opening night, which is tomorrow night from the time of this recording. And like I said, I want to hear from anybody else that just cannot wait to go see this movie. Now, a couple of random rumors here. And like I said, rumors, so no real solid evidence behind these. Even though some of these uh, came from Q&A with members of you know, employees of Funko. Still, you got to take that with a grain of salt because things change, especially in terms of licensing. Okay, so do keep that in mind. But for um, Batman Day this year, for one thing, it seems like they're going to put a focus on Harley Quinn, which is not a surprise there because of her popularity. But there might be an exclusive for Batman Day, and that's all I know. I mean, Funko has been listed as being involved for something with Batman Day. So we'll see what happens. And you see that is September 23rd. Um, so we should find out pretty soon if there's going to be anything for it. Um, the puppet of character from Five Nights at Freddy, there will be a pop figure of it, it seems. Uh, again, that came directly from a Funko employee. But again, you know, things may change, so we will see there. Um, they have already done some Scott Pilgrim figures, which their release of the Scott Pilgrim figures has been kind of odd to me with so many of them being through the Funko shop. But it seems like there should be another Evil X available for Emerald City Comic Con next year. Yes, they're already looking ahead to Emerald City Comic Con for next year. And um, as far as the Evil X's go, I would be surprised if it's not the Chris Evans character. Um, uh, you know, I mean, but it could be really any of them that haven't been made yet. They could even possibly do five and six, you know, the twins in a two pack. We'll see what happens. I think eventually they may all get made. And then Limit Breaker Goku is rumored to have a pop figure on the way as well. You know, we'll see what happens. So all all like all of these, like I said, please take them with a grain of salt. You know, we will see if any of these actually become official. So that is going to do it for this edition of Funko News. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, I'm going to do my best to try to get some more content up before I possibly lose power. Like I said, I was without power for a, la for a week last year. Hopefully it won't be that bad this time. Um, it'd be nice not to lose power at all, but I know 
slim chances on that you know we'll see but uh yeah like i said i'm gonna do my best but just know if you don't see a video up it just means that i'm i'm waiting to get power back whatever it may be and you all try to keep me in your thoughts and keep it um everybody who's in the path of the storm in your thoughts because people are really going through it right now we saw the situation in texas especially in houston so yeah just keep people in your thoughts you know contribute to charities where you can you know just that that's all i can say about it but uh yeah i'm gonna wrap it up for now and i will talk to you all again real soon